these have to be mailed, these have to be messengered, and these have to be eaten. Hey, school candy. Well, this takes me back. You know, I sold more candy than any kid in my school. My secret? Fat relatives. <laughs> Yeah, my Aunt Greta alone sent the whole school band to Europe. Well, I've eaten enough candy to bring them back again, which is why I'm going down to the gym. Yes, yes, and you are just packing it on. You must be, what, two, three inches taller. I'll be back in an hour. Oh, you're forgetting your meeting with Carson Wood of Esquire. Oh, right, he wants to talk about their library benefit. Oh, God, I hate libraries. I can never tell if the whispering's coming from inside my head or out. Judy, until I get back, you're in charge of the library benefit meeting. Well, what about me? You're the captain of the candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. No, what about Carson? Oh, he's always late. Carson, come here. <laughs> you remember my associate, Judy Owens. Sure, how you doing? Yeah. Nice to see you Good again. Good to see you, too. All right, you've got this under control. I'm gonna go whisper behind Alan's back, again. <laughs> What, what is this now? Our fifth benefit together, right? Yes, and our best yet. Okay, so for entertainment, I've arranged for some uh, notable stage actors to read excerpts from, you know, Chekhov and O'Neill and Strindberg. I'm yanking your chain. Uh. I got the who let the dogs out, guys. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Now, the second reason for my visit here, you know, every year Esquire comes out with a women we love issue. And this year, we would like to love you. You're kidding, really? Really. Don't you usually go with movie stars and models? Yeah, well, you're high profile in your work and you raise millions for charity. Why me? Tell me, why? <laughs> and it doesn't hurt that you're also beautiful. Surely there are thousands more beautiful than I. Teddy, I'm telling you, the camera is going to love you. Pictures too? Really? I, I just don't see why Esquire would Okay, now you're milking it. <laughs> So, Mom, you'll never guess where I am right now. Getting my picture taken for Esquire's Women We Love issue. No, I really don't think Esquire's standards have sunk. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Teddy, we need you to... Mom, I gotta go. They're calling me. Okay, love you too. Bye-bye. Well, at least with my new calling plan, it only cost me five cents a minute to have her suck the joy out of my life. Boy, this takes me back. The makeup, the cameras, the lights. I have expect to see Larry Flint come rolling through that door any second. <laughs> so, what does Max think of you being a woman we love? Oh, I haven't told him yet. I'm gonna spring it on him. Here's my plan, okay? I'm gonna pick up the magazine at the market, you know, thumb through real casual. Oh, women we love? Yeah. Let's see. Angelina Jolie, yeah. Oh, Venus Williams, mm hmm she's good. Madeline Albright, me? <laughs> Won't that be fun? Sure, and then you can buy him a candy apple and put him on the Ferris wheel. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm starting to get a little anxious here. I mean, I'm gonna be in this magazine in the middle of all these famous people, and everybody's gonna be saying, who's she? We don't love her. What's so lovable about her? You called your mother, didn't you? You were late. <laughs> all right, well, I'm here now, and I want you to calm down. This is an amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You look great, and you're gonna have a blast. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, uh, which one of you's Teddy? Chesty or Tawley? Uh, I'm Teddy, and I'd prefer you didn't reduce me to a physical characteristic. Yeah, well, I can't take a picture of your aura now, can I, darling? You're Reggie Whitley. I'm a giant fan of yours. And I'm a fan of your giants. Uh, this is my friend, Hillary. I thought I'd watch. Yeah, well, I thought I'd dance, but here we all are, darling, all right? Uh, actually, I don't mind if she stays. Oh, well, neither do I, Ted, but it's just not gonna work. You see, she's gonna cast enormous shadows. <laughs> so, uh, run along, darling, if you can. You nasty little teabag. You have highly offended Hillary Randall. And I'm in the book, too, else. <laughs> God, you have fantastic cheeks. You mean my face, I hope. No. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, nobody told me you were going to be so beautiful. I mean, you know, I love my job and everything, but there's only so much you can do with Maddie Albright, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so how should we start? Well, it all depends on you, darling. What do you feel most comfortable with? Um, well, I could pretend to work, 
like I got an important call. Yeah, like from uh, the president or Batman or someone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think we got those. Now, uh, listen, why don't we see if we can do something a teensy-weensy bit more fun? I mean, this is the uh, women we love issue, not women we mildly enjoy. Uh, well, how about uh, something like this? Oh, yeah. The pencil pout. Oh, you are such a tease. Do you know how to tease? <laughs> Meow. Uh, you asking or telling? Uh, <laughs> Ooh, somebody let Kitty out of the cage. <laughs> Pop off the jacket. Music! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just throw it over your chair. Just throw it away. Throw it away. You don't want that jacket anymore now. All right, now loosen your tie. Oh, look at the pencil. The pencils, you don't need them anymore. It's stupid! Throw the pencils away. Oh, now, someone's on the phone for you. Who is it? Oh, someone's sexy on the phone. Hi, how are you? Hi. Are you right, darling? Oh, very nice. I'm very busy. I'm doing a photo shoot. Put the phone down. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Marvellous, darling. Oh, oh, Miss Cochran, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're in my office and you're in my suit. What are you doing? How dare you? You can so Lovely, lovely. Right, pop off your pants. Of course, only if you're totally comfortable with it. Gorgeous. Okay, lovely. All right, let's wrap it up. Oh, oh, I've never done anything like that in my entire life. She lied to the handsome young photographer. <laughs> you are fantastic, darling. You are going to love, love, love these pictures, kisses. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Alan's at the newsstand down the block. Alan! Use my code name, please. No. Use it. Judy the Beastmaster. <laughs> Come in, Beastmaster. This is Beastmaster. For God's sake. Alan, is the Esquire magazine there yet? Yeah, I just got here. How do I look? How do I look? Well, first of all, let me thank you for giving me a raise. <laughs> what? Alan, I didn't give you a... <laughs> oh, my God. What's the matter? Well, I, I think I got a little more daring in the photo shoot than I'd originally intended. Hee <laughs> hee. More daring than the pencil pout? Uh, yeah. But, you know, you know Alan. He gets excited looking at mannequins in dumpsters. <laughs> Besides, they wouldn't use anything too racy, would they? No, Esquire's a top-tier magazine. They're not going to resort to cheap cheesecake. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, who's going to love me? Oh, my God. Give me this. What is it about the click, click, click of a camera that makes you want to stick your butt in the air? <laughs> Why did I do this? I have no excuse. It's not like I'm working my way through law school. Well, let me see. Let me see. What have I done? I'm, I'm a super tramp. Oh, shut up. You look amazing. Honey, you look hot. I have seen more clothes on you at last call. <laughs> you should be proud. You know who's going to love this? Max. You think? I think you could get him to send the kids off to boarding school. <laughs> I guess I do look pretty good. And let's see. Well, look, Angelina Jolie is showing a little tummy. And Venus Williams is showing leg. Oh, Madeline Albright looks like a fool. But you look fantastic. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take you guys' advice. I'm going to just enjoy this. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, Alan. Hey, I'm way ahead of you. Did you check out Madeline Albright? <laughs> I'd like to negotiate a piece of that. Let him find it. Let him find it. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Look, I'm a woman we love. Look. Ooh, you can't let my mother see this. OK, what's your second reaction? You can't let my father see this. 
You better not let your parents see this. I don't even think your father's seen this much of your mother. What is this obsession with your parents? When they come to visit, we'll make sure there's no Esquires lying around. They're, They're here. here. Oh, there's Esquires everywhere. I, 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 hello, hello. Oh, is that Ted? No, no. Hi. Oh, you must be Bill and Ruth. What a surprise. I had no idea you were coming. Neither did we. Last night, we got a call from Kay Doherty, wonderful woman. Is she and Paul? Were... Yeah, her husband, funny guy. They were supposed to fly up to visit their daughter? That's right. Not a pretty girl. Not a pretty girl at all, but heart of gold. But Kay broke her foot. She dropped an iron on it. It, it sounds funny, but it's really not. Really homely girl. Actually, she's got a bit of a mean streak in her. So when they offered us their tickets, we thought, what the heck? We'll surprise them. Surprise! surprise! <laughs> so if anybody asks... We're Kay and Paul Doherty, and our daughter is no box of chocolates. <laughs> Well, it's great to finally meet you. I'm just so, so embarrassed. I mean, this place is a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, look at that. Fire's burning down. Better put on another magazine. You know, Teddy, your picture doesn't do you justice. Picture? What picture? Oh, the picture of you and the kids that Max emailed us. <laughs> you know, that email is the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Hell, language. Oh, sorry, kids. Guess Grandpa owes 25 cents to the sin bin. <laughs> Sin bin? Oh, it's just a little collection that we take up whenever one of us strays. Oh, I have 140 bucks on me. Is that going to get me out of this? Not even a down payment. Oh. Hey, Bill. Huh? Think fast. Whoa. <laughs> oh, can you look at that craftsmanship on that? Wow. What is it, wicker? Uh huh. Oh. Daddy, look what Grandma and Grandpa got me. It's a leash. It's a kid leash for when you want to go out to the mall. <laughs> We saw it on Mari Povich. Oh, we love Mari. Yeah, yeah, and I got some swell books. Wow. Trouble really seems to find those Hardy Boys. <laughs> it's better they read than watch that filth on television. I can read, too. Oh, really? OK, Pumpkin, read this. Uh, you know what, honey? This is maybe a little too adult for you. Oh, good for you, Teddy. I am shocked at what some parents expose their children to. Oh, look, it's Angelina Jolie. Man, is she hot. And this is, uh... <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go wash my eyes. Hey, it's starting to rain. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get us a cab. Well, I'm so glad we decided to come into the city. Me too. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but I was a little nervous when we first met. Oh, I didn't notice a thing. Oh, well, a little maybe, but that's understandable. The first time I met Bill's parents, I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> she bit into the wax fruit. We had wax fruit back then. <laughs> well, I just hope I didn't make a fool of myself. Trust me, you have nothing to be embarrassed about. I got one. Wax fruit. What? That must have been embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe your parents didn't recognize me. Oh, yeah, they, they recognized you. <laughs> They're uh, just in the process of repressing it now. Look at them. They look like they lost a pet. You know, we Ryans don't do confrontation. We, we eat it. Sure, it, it takes years off our lives, but you can take us anywhere. Your parents just saw me half naked on top of a cab. Don't you think that warrants a comment? Honey, he coughed in the cab. That's, that's more than I got after I burned down the garage. Might as well pitch a tent. They say it'll be an hour wait for a table. Oh, that's ridiculous. Suck. Teddy! What's this, about an hour wait? Oh, I did not know it was you. The woman we love. <laughs> now we know why, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, these are my future in-laws, so anything you can do to make the meal special. Why don't you change into your famous shirt and brassiere, huh? <laughs> oh, I am bad. <laughs> Max, 
I have to say something. No, no, no. Then you say something. We don't say things. Haven't you been listening? How can an entire family not say things? It's our only tradition. <laughs> Oh, thank you. This is great. This thank is really you. great. Perfect. Uh, of course. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks. So, okay. I'm a big one for getting things out in the open. Ha <laughs> ha. I guess you already know that. <laughs> I'm sure there's something that you wanted to ask me. Yeah, I have a question. What's in a blini? Because if there's ham in it, I've got to take a pill. Yeah, no, no, they're, they're very thin pancakes. Oh, I love pancakes. Of course, that's a different pill I don't have with me. Okay. Uh, look, Max told me that you don't like confrontation, and I know that this is a very embarrassing situation. Oh, good news! Bill, I have your pancake pills. Oh. <laughs> Bring on the blinis. You were kidding. This is impossible. I told you, just drop it. Do you suppose there's any chance that she will drop this? I think he's telling her now. So, uh, the, the, the kids are they're growing so fast, aren't they? Oh, I didn't recognize them. Oh, so fast. They just amazing. sprouted up. It's I know. Like right? weeds. Last time you saw them. Oh. So there's this wonderful machine that counts up all the pennies, and then you can just plop them right into the roll. It's the damnedest thing. Uh, sin bin. Oh, oh. Uh, plug him in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no charge tonight, please. Uh, I ask only one small favor in return. Would you autograph your beautiful picture? <laughs> we will put you right next to the Tim Meadows. <laughs> ah, you must be so proud, huh? <laughs> and what sexy grandchildren you will be having, no? Okay, Bill, Ruth, I have to talk about this. I know you don't want to, but I have to. I swear, if you had just met that photographer, he could have talked a minister into a G-string. <laughs> it's just a picture. What can one really say about a picture? You can say what you think. What else? <laughs> if you can't say anything nice... You know, Dan, sometimes not saying anything at all can be hurtful, too. Max, is that how you speak to your father? <laughs> I think it's, it's healthy to, to clear the air. What's happened to this family? <laughs> Bill, please, calm down. Wait, wait a minute. Are you guys fighting? I am so sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> well, that's the best Russian pancake I've ever had. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You were just getting going. Please, let's talk. All right, if you insist. But why now? When you moved in with Max before you got married, we... And now that the future mother of our grandchildren is modeling her undergarments to the whole world, what are we supposed to say? It must be a great disappointment to you. Well, you're not dull. I'll give you that. <laughs> I certainly didn't intend for this to be your first impression of me. Look, everybody makes mistakes. Now, I'm sure it's like you said. You were, you were talked into something, and now you're sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I want you to like me, but this picture, that's me, too. And yes, I am about to become a wife and mother, but does that mean I can't be sexy anymore? I see your point. <laughs> really? Do you mean that? I sure do. If there's one thing I respect and admire about a woman, it's, it's her ability to stand up for what she believes in. Bravo, darling. Ruth, thank you. That means so much to me. <laughs> but I want to choose the wedding photographer. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Mom hates her, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Dad, I'm sorry for raising my voice at dinner tonight. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not like you burned down the garage again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going up to bed. OK. Good night, Good night son. Good night. <clears throat> Woo, that was not a pancake pill. <laughs> Lucky bastard. 